Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at these wall sconces by Pasutin. This is Mayor Product Reviews. If you are looking to add some ambiance to your home and want to add sconce lighting in certain areas but don't want to mess around with electrical, these are a simple and easy option. Let's go ahead and open these up. Each package includes two sconces. So you can see these covers right here. They just come rolled up and simple. And then you have these puck lighting pieces that go inside. You also have your metal frame pieces that actually frame out that sconce right here. There are four of those. Some instructions that are easy to follow. And you have these 3M sticky pads that are going to connect your lights onto your sconce wire there. And it comes with two remote controls and you've got the mounting sets right here. When it comes to the lighting options, you have two choices. You can either go with battery operated or USB charging. I got a set of both to show you. So the battery operated takes three batteries, the USB charging, they each come with two charging cables. And you can see that there are pieces that disconnect from the back that are gonna stay permanently connected to your actual wall sconce. And then you simply twist the light off when you need to replace the batteries or charge. Each puck light can go through several color options, although I just prefer the plain white. Each package comes with two remote controls where you can change the color and set timers. Each controller will work for both lights, but if you want to use these separately instead of as a pair, you have two separate controllers. I really love the material that's used over top of these sconces. It's very neutral and organic. It has a nice texture to it. You've just got that cream with different lines through it. It goes really well with the decor in my house and I love it. As you can see, there are plastic clips that line on the inside of this material, which is rather stiff and holds its form. And you simply unroll it and clip them on to these metal pieces. You wanna make sure that you have two separate pieces on each one and that you line up um, for th where the nail screw holes are going to be when you're clipping them on to this material. And then you just simply wrap it around and make sure that you have a base piece on as well where you're gonna attach your puck light. The process of putting these together is pretty simple and easy. You can put two together in just a few minutes. It just might take you a little bit of time to smooth that material out and get a nice seam while you are closing the Velcro in the back. Once they're put together, you simply take the puck light and place it inside. And you'll use that 3M piece to connect it on at the bottom there. We wanted to use our rechargeable set in our living room to add some nice lighting there and decided that we would use these surrounding our painting on our wall above the couch. Right now we have plenty of ambiance and lighting in that room when it's dark thanks to our Christmas tree, but typically we either have the bright can lights on in that room or no light at all. So we decided to put these lights there and we decided to use the rechargeable pucks. I kind of prefer those. You do have to take them out and charge them more frequently than you would have to remove ones with batteries. But for ones that I want to turn on and have on in the evening and set a timer to turn them off, I'd rather use rechargeable and go through less batteries. I'm I'm gonna use my battery operated ones in places where I won't use them quite so frequently. The hardware attaches to the back and you've got screws to connect it on and then screws to go into the wall. You'll notice that we don't have any screws going into our wall to actually connect them. And that's because we didn't have any studs back behind right in the exact place where we wanted to put them on. They do come with those plastic pieces that you can put into your wall when you don't have studs there to hold them in the drywall. But we decided since these were so light to use 3M strips on the back to connect them and guess what? 
they totally work to keep them on the wall. It's got a really light metal frame and light material, so you could just stick them to the wall with some heavy adhesive if you didn't want to put holes in your wall. So if you have a rental property or a place where you're gonna be using them temporarily, that works out really well that you can use these. And of course, the whole point that you don't have to do any kind of electrical to add lighting into the wall is fantastic. I'm showing you here the different lighting options that you can do. Like I said, I prefer just the plain white, but it could be fun for different holidays and things like that to put on multiple colors, and you can even flip through several different colors. For the price and the simplicity of these sconces, I'm really pleased with what they add. They don't have a huge profile, they're really neutral, so when they're not on during the day, they just kind of blend in. It's not too much adding a little something extra on the wall, and you could really put these anywhere. I love the gentle light that they give off. It really adds something to my front room. When it's winter and cold outside, I'm always wanting to be inside warm and cozy, and lighting can add so much when it comes to that cozy feeling. When it comes to the remotes, if you have them both located in the same room, you really only need one, and most of the time you can control them both with the same one. If they've got a little bit of distance, you might need to do one at a time. There's also a timer on the button, and when you press the timer, it'll make them flash to let you know that you've set it. You can set them for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 120 minutes. So you can put them on, and they will turn themselves off. You also can adjust the brightness on these lights. So when you turn them on, sometimes they're a little bit dim and you just turn that light up or you can control them exactly how you want. One can be brighter than the other, one can be more dim. If you have one in one room and another in a different location, of course you have two remote controls. This lighting was such a simple and easy add to this space and I really love them here. You can skip the electrician and just add a little bit of something. The verdict is still out on where I'm going to use my other battery operated set. I have two children that each want one located in their bedroom and one child that thinks we should use these downstairs in our family room to give us kind of a theater lighting look, which I think is a great idea. I've also thought about using the other pair in my master bedroom surrounding the bed frame. These are also simple and easy enough to move that you could try in different locations and you just need to fill in a tiny hole in the wall. I got mine on Amazon and I'm not disappointed in the least. You can check out the product link for this in my write up below as usual. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel and I hope that you found this review to be helpful. If you've not yet subscribed and you love to watch product reviews just like this one, be sure that you do so now. You can also hit the like button to further help my channel and let me know that you'd like to see more reviews like this one and the notification bell so that you know when I'm putting out my next video. I'll see you guys next time.